Okay, I am so excited today because I got, well, first off, I got a really cool lunchbox slash cooler. And who doesn't like a good lunchbox? Well, actually this is technically the lunchbox. So I got a lunchbox and a cooler, or if you eat a lot of food like me, this is your lunchbox. But I'm more excited about what's inside of it. And based on the fact that it says literally right on front, you might've guessed it by now, inside of this beautiful cooler, our Aries Kitchen special shipment from our friends at Impossible Foods of the Impossible Burger. Frankly, I just am so elated to have more of these in my life. So in celebration of this wonderful package of Impossible Burgers showing up today, uh, we are gonna have a burger day, okay? So if you like burgers, buckle in. It is time to eat some burgers, but hold on. Still buckle in, but still hold on. I want you to pay attention to me. I have something else to say. This isn't your everyday burger. This is not the burger that you swing by the drive-thru to get. Today's recipes are just gonna be very different, I'm thinking, than any burger you or I or Peach has ever had in their life. I wanted to make an episode of burgers, but I didn't want it to feel boring or like something you've seen before. Cause there's a million ways to make in and out or in and out <laughs> or like a vegan Big Mac or something like that, right? But I wanted to kind of go outside the box and this might come back to bite me, but I wanted to make it interesting. So we are gonna be making three burgers today and they are all gonna be a little bit wild. I live in LA, so I'm fully aware of a lot of the ridiculous trends that happen, uh, especially when it comes to food. One of which happened, I wanna say in the last couple of years, I saw it start getting popular. I know restaurants opened based off of it and it's called the ramen burger, where instead of a bun, you literally cook and crisp a circle of ramen and use that as the bun. Second, we are gonna be making a peanut butter burger. And if you need to click away, I understand, okay? Just make sure you come join us for the last burger because that is gonna be the grand finale. We are making a whiskey glaze and beer cheese burger. None of those things that just came out of my mouth I've ever tasted. And I'm so excited. I've always wanted to try beer cheese. I've always liked whiskey in anything. So it's, it's going to be a good day because we're ending on that burger. So no matter what happens, this is like an experiment. This is science time. We're gonna seal the deal with something that we know is gonna be delicious. Hopefully. Uh, I have a lot of work to do to make these burgers. So I think we should just get started and come along with me. Okay, y'all, we're trying something new here. We're gonna read some directions. Oh my God, dude, we got this thing working. First step is we gotta make our buns. Wow, that thing is loud, huh? Oh my God, it's getting hot. This thing is crazy, dude. All right, so this is our ramen. I'm gonna take my two bricks of ramen and I'm going to put them in the boiling water for a couple of minutes, add the seasoning, and then I'm gonna take this off the heat and add a pan to our induction cooker so that we can crisp up the buns. We are boiling, so I'm gonna add the two little pieces of ramen. I'm just gonna let these kind of soften up. In about two minutes, I'm gonna add the seasoning packets. I would say other than this part of the recipe, this is an easy burger to make. You know, you're grilling the patty with a different type of oil and you're making a different sauce, but this is the hardest part. So if we can nail the ramen bun, we'll be in good shape. We're gonna use sesame oil for crisping the ramen as well as cooking the burger, by the way. Man, this induction stove is absolutely choice. Oh God, oh God, that's not good. That's not good. Uh-oh. Okay, note, don't add seasoning while it's boiling. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit. All right, well, we can put our other pan on here and get this warm. This has kind of turned out to be a perfect consistency to mold because it's not too soft, but also not too firm that it won't move. And I'm just gonna take like a handful and just pop it in there. This is actually pretty cool. I never thought that I would ever make this recipe. And also it seems to be pretty easy. Like I always assumed this would be kind of a bitch to make, but nah, we doing it to him right now. 
is actually incredible. We're gonna use our buddy, the uh, cast iron pan to cook all the burgers today, because that's how you cook a burger, baby. So upon biting into this, I don't know if it's gonna turn into just a complete mess or if it'll hold, but the ramen is crisping, so it might just be like a crunchy bun. All right, now it is time to bust open the lunchbox. Here we have, oh, wait a minute. <gasps> this is ground beef. Oh my God, dude, they sent me ground beef. I didn't even realize this. This is their new product. This is the ground beef that I'm so excited to try. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna use this for the final burger. We're gonna use it for the beer and whiskey burger because that's a special one. These, we're just gonna use the patties. Very excited. Yes, I am. So we are gonna take an American slice of cheese Follow your heart slices are the best. And we are just gonna let this chill on top. I'm actually gonna do a little double pan action. And this is pretty much gonna seal the deal, except we need to do one thing. We need to make the sauce. So let's get some ketchup, pop it open, no measurements, uh, some sambal, and a little bit of soy sauce. And I'm actually gonna turn this off. Let us whisk. Now it is time to bring these puppies back out we are gonna make a little bit of egg with the just egg substitute. And we are just gonna kinda let this go. This is the ramen burger with American cheese sambal ketchup, an egg, and some arugula on top. I definitely have never seen a burger that looks like this. And I don't think Peach has either. Even if I don't like this, I'm at least proud of the fact that I made this because I've definitely never had anything like this. I'm nervous to go for a cross section here because I feel like that's just asking for it. Hey, it worked. It's delicious. Like, I'm sorry, but anything with ramen, cheese, and a burger, it's like, how are you gonna make that taste bad? You can't. What I think I'm most impressed with, though, is just the the way it looks. It looks so, like, Pinterest. I can't believe it held. Well, there you go. We made a burger with noodles for a bun, okay? Now let's go on to the next weird thing. Okay, so this next burger is relatively easy. Like, it's just a burger with a bun, some cheese, and mayo. The only weird thing is the peanut butter. So. We're just gonna make a burger and then add some really weird ingredient at the end and hopefully it doesn't just taste like the worst thing ever. This thing heats up like really fast. I actually found this new brand of uh, buns and I'm using these today. And I'm super keen to try because they look really nice. They're light, airy. So this calls for pepper jack, but I kind of feel weird about putting pepper jack with peanut butter, so I wanna do something different. Maybe Gouda? Let's do Gouda. All right, I'm gonna let this do its thing for a little bit. All right, a little spoon of mayo. Pop the burger on there, and then now it's just gonna get so weird. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this. Cross section looks even weirder, and I suppose because I've, I'm here and we're doing this, I have to take a bite, so let's get this over with. Why is that not bad? I'm confused right now. Why? That's good. Yeah, it's like really good. Like you have the, the really strong, savory, salty flavors from the cheese in the patty, and then the peanut butter's like, hey, it's okay. You can relax a little bit. I'm here to help you relax. Too many flavors? Here, calm down. And then it's like a nice, happy arrangement. And everyone's happy. No one's stressed. This is a stress-free burger. It's weird, it's weird as fuck, but it's stress-free. I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. 
which if I were to say that to my past self before I ate a burger with peanut butter on it, I would think me is crazy. And honestly, me be crazy anyway. So let's move on. All right, everybody take a breath. We've had an odd day. Some things have happened. We didn't really plan on them happening. All we know is that there is a nice meal coming and that meal is gonna be this burger. This is the Whiskey Glaze High Peach Beer Cheese Gourmet Burger that your dad made you and then just ran off with this. Oh God, that was too real. This is like a dad burger, I feel like. And I'm reading the recipe and it tells me to make my own crispy onions. And this recipe be like, make crispy onions. And me be like, I just made a burger with peanut butter, I'm tired. So then me be like, I have crispy onions and they're right here and someone else slaved over them, not me. So step one, done. Buy crispy onions so you don't have to make them. Step two, we are gonna take a little bit wet saucepan and we are gonna take a fourth a cup of whiskey. Right now we're making the whiskey glaze. Two tablespoons of soy sauce, there's one. And two, isn't it amazing how I just measured that with my eyes? Two tablespoons of honey, or I'm using agave. One, two. We're gonna take a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Oh, it is trippy smelling whiskey right now and not having it in my glass. You know what? This is what we're gonna do. Cheers to you guys. Also, cheers to two million subscribers. Thank you so much for that. I never ever thought I would come close, but we did it. That is incredibly good. Uh, we're gonna do a teaspoon of Worcestershire. There we go. Uh, ketchup, fourth a cup. So this is a fair bit of ketchup. And we are gonna bring this to a boil. Add some cayenne as well, some black pepper. I don't know that anything's coming out of there. While this boils, we are gonna quickly panic and have to refill our pepper supply. My workstation is getting so messy. I envy binging with Babish cause he uses a 35 millimeter lens and his mess is out of the way. Actually, I don't know if he's messy. He's probably very tidy. What does whiskey taste like in food? Interesting. Actually good. It is like a nice thick glaze consistency and I'm just gonna set it aside for later to drizzle over our burger. We're almost there. Okay guys, we're cooking. Hey Google, how many cups is four tablespoons? Four US tablespoons equals 0.25 US cups. All right, fourth of a cup. Well, you're gonna put a fourth a cup of butter into a saucepan and we're gonna sort of just like make a roux here. So we're gonna wanna get this butter to bubble a little bit. Then we're gonna add about a fourth of a cup of flour and just kind of keep whisking like you would a roux. And then after a certain amount of time, you're gonna just kind of add the milk, the cheddar cheese and the Guinness or stout in my case to make this like beautifully rich cheese sauce. This is already looking like a roux, just butter and flour. Um, then we are gonna add a bunch of cheddar, which I have some slices, so I'm gonna put that in first. But I also have this incredible like sharp cheese dip, which is like a spread. And I feel like this is gonna be a nice addition to this sauce. About a half a cup of milk. And here we go, baby. Half a cup of stout. There we go, we just put beer and whiskey in our food. It has been a good day. Okay, well with anything cheesy on uh, this channel, we're of course gonna add some nooch. Um, it also gives it a nice yellow color. So this is pretty much done. I'm gonna let it simmer and just kind of stay a little bit warm while we cook the burger and get everything else ready. And then we're about there. We got blessed with Impossible's new line of ground beef. And so we're gonna use it. Um, this recipe actually calls for a blue cheese. I was not able to get my hands on an actual blue cheese that's vegan. Um, the only thing I know of is a blue cheese dressing. And I feel like that kind of would have been a little too messy. But what I do have is our trusty old buddies from Vile Life. They have a feta cheese that tastes, I would say a little more like a goat cheese. And I think that actually might work. And we are gonna take just a nice big handful of it. This is incredible that they have this. It looks and feels just like their burgers, which is so cool. You can probably guess what I'm gonna do, but we're gonna flatten this out. And we are gonna take a couple of cubes, pop these on in here, and then we are gonna cover it. So we're gonna basically stuff this 
with cheese. That's what we're doing for this recipe. We're gonna shape it into a little patty and call it a day. This is what we're gonna cook. We are gonna cook this beautiful, I would say cheese, let's just call it cheese stuffed. It's gonna be a cheese stuffed whiskey glazed beer cheeseburger. Oh my God, I'm already getting so excited. My hands are dirty, but I need the whiskey. So this is gonna be probably nice and quick because you don't have to worry about melting cheese on here. I kind of feel like this is my favorite one we've done. Like this burger is my favorite one that we've done today, but also today is my favorite video we've done. I'm gonna kind of press it down a little bit. It's kind of a big burger. Honestly, I might be getting a little crazy, but I think based on this recipe, it might do well with a little butter in the pan. Let's try it. See what happens. Dude, I just realized that I totally forgot about this bacon, which I think was supposed to go on the peanut butter burger. And I'm really mad at myself. Our burger has rested, and now we are going to glaze it. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. This is the longest I've ever spent filming one episode of a cooking video. The lights completely changed. It's like almost dark out. But you know what? This is 1000% worth it because look at what we've created. Look at this. Hello? Oh, oh my God. Chris Fuck me. Don't get mad guys. Don't get mad. We're going to take off the top real quick. Okay, we got the, the crispy onions now. Don't yell at me. I sometimes forget things. Oh yeah, I've been trying them as I go. Hold on, we gotta try this one first, then you can try all of them. Do I do a cross section though? This is risky. I think I, I have don't to. Know. I heard the word cheese sauce. I just came running. I'm not the boss of you. Ooh, this beer cheese is. That's like what a vegan cheddar should taste like. Right? It's like tangy. Yeah. Oh my God! Look at this. Look at that, baby. We did it. <sighs> that's what I wish store-bought vegan cheddar tasted like. Yo, Daya, start putting beer in your fucking cheese. Right? This is a monstrosity. I'm gonna take a bite. Holy fuck. Is it good? You're gonna like this one the most. Are you gonna try it first? Last. Try it last. Ramen burger. I took a bite of your ramen burger. How is it? Mmm, that's good. It's like better than you think it would be, right? Yeah. It's not bad. Peanut butter burger. Yeah. Mm. I like tried that and I was like, why is this not bad? I feel like if I was a kid, that would be my favorite burger. Yeah. For sure. Okay. This is a creation worth the time. It is so good. Oh, you just spilled some on Kermit. It literally dripped on Kermit's back. <laughs> that cheese though, I'm telling you, is the best tangiest vegan like cheddar that I've had since going vegan. One of the best burgers I've ever had. And that's crazy to think that I would say that because I did not expect to make that good of a burger today. Just because I dropped some cheese one time doesn't mean you need to lick my foot for the rest of my life. <sighs> Honestly, this might be the hardest we've ever done it to him. You didn't have to do it to them. You know I had to. Mm. Like if they could make regular vegan cheese that tangy, yeah. please. As usual, I'm gonna be linking all of the recipes that I use below. And um, I love when you guys recreate the shit that I make. So if you wanna make a burger that I made today and you have to choose one, this is the one you're gonna make. Do not make another burger than this. It's so good. Also you get wasted because there's whiskey and beer in it. <laughs> I don't think that's how this works. Might, we'll see. Uh, would you like to try our beer battered cheese today? Oh, sir, no, I'm driving. Thank you, though. Also, oh my God, dude, huge shout out to Impossible. This is their ground beef. I've shaped my own patty. I appreciate you guys sending me stuff. You guys are the realest. Me too, because you mailed it, and then Julian cooked it, and I just ate it. Team effort here. <laughs> Jen is pleased, I'm pleased. I hope you guys are pleased. And uh, let me know what else you think I should make over here in this kitchen of doing it to him? No, 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 no. <laughs> Not allowed. No, no, no. Not allowed. No. Oh, <laughs> fighting. We really did it to him. You're like the Captain Planet of burgers <laughs> right now. That's what they call me. Make this. Peace. <laughs> mm -hmm.